Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Back in my temporary studio again. Um, our bathroom renovations are going slowly. But today I'm going to show you how to make a double-ended glasses case. And it's going to have a zipper pocket on the side as well. So you can put some coins or something in there as well. This was a video that was suggested to me oh, probably about six months ago and I've been mulling it over in my mind as to how I want to do this. I figured out a simple technique. So come along and I'll show you how to make this double-ended zippered glasses case. Here's everything that we need. I'm using upholstery fabric again. This is a really soft weight. Um, it's almost like a velour. So there's not much stability to it, but it's just really nice and floppy. If you're using quilting cotton, I'd go and put some kind of lightweight stabilizer on the back of it. But with this, it's not necessary. I don't want any more than what this is. Now, what I have are two pieces of fabric, eight inches by five inches for the outside part of the glasses case. This one here is seven inches by five inches, which will be for the little zipper pocket on the front. Then I have four pieces that are five inches by seven and a half, and they will be the lining for each end of the zip. Then I have four tabs for the end of the zips, which are one and a quarter inches wide by two and a half inches long. Then we have three zips. We need two that are four inches long, and we need one that is four and a half inches. I've already gone and put the zip sliders on there and closed everything up to this stage. First thing we're going to do, set the four and a half inch aside for the time being, and we're going to put tabs on the end of the zip here to tidy it up and stop it from opening up when we turn our bag around the right way later on. With the fabric right side together, fold that in half, place that over the end of the zip and just clip that in place. We'll repeat that for both zips and both ends. Okay, that's ready to take to the machine and we're going to sew this about a quarter of an inch from the outside edge, both sides and on both zips. The zipper tabs are done and we can set those aside. So all you need to do once you've stitched those down is just push the fabric away from the zip and there you've got a nice finished edge to your zipper tabs. Set those aside. On this piece of fabric, the five inches by seven inches, we need to mark a rectangle in here, but this fabric is very difficult to show you the drawn lines. So what I'm going to do is show you on this piece of paper. So assuming this is the long edge of the fabric, and this is the short edge of the fabric. We're going to measure one inch from the outside edge and draw a line going straight across. So that's one inch from here to here. Then we've got another line, three quarters of an inch from this line down here. And then you wanna find the mid section along here. And we'll just mark that with a dotted line. And then from the outside edge, we're also going to come in three quarters of an inch. So from here to there is three quarters and from here to here is three quarters. We need to transfer those markings onto this piece of fabric. So I've transferred the markings onto the wrong side of my pocket fabric. The other thing we need is just a triangle here, which is what we'll be cutting into shortly. So the dotted line and the diagonal sections will be cut into later. What we wanna do here is take our main fabric. I've marked the center with a pin. From the top edge of the fabric, we're going to measure three quarters of an inch. And I'll just draw a line a straight line across here. This will be where we position our pocket. So fold your pocket in half, mark a crease in the center, open that out and lay the center out over the top of that pin in line with that chalk mark you've made. Now we're going to take this to the machine and sew around the solid lines. If we refer back to our little pattern here, we're going to sew all the way around this section here. It doesn't matter where you start, Okay, so that's been stitched in place now. We need to open this section up and we'll just fold that in half. Make a cut straight across the center. We'll cut to about a quarter of an inch from the edge there, then cut in on the diagonal to the stitching line, very close, but not through the stitching. I 
and then we can turn this the other way around bring the fabric around to the back we want to press this so that it sits nice and flat once you've ironed that nice and flat grab your four and a half inch zip so I'm going to run some double-sided tape just along the edges of this opening here and then I want to take the zip and make sure the it opens from left to right and we'll place that over the top of the opening there and center that in between the fabric flip it around the other side because it'll make it easier for you to line it up so we just want to make sure we have the zip centered on the side there nice and even and when you're happy with that press it down and that will stay in place take this back to the machine and stitch all the way around the outside that will close up the ends of the zip as well so you can double stitch over this section if you want to okay the zipper is in place there what we can do now bring it back to the wrong side you can trim the zip down at this point if you want to and I think I will so that it makes it easier to sew the pocket Take the pocket piece and fold that up until it lines up with the top edge and we're going to sew along here a top and along the side again hold the fabric at the top there and flip it around we're going to be stitching from the top okay take it back to the machine we'll sew up there along the top edge and down the side okay that's closed up and there's our little zippered pocket just on the side there so it's just a tiny little pocket just enough to put some coins in or maybe even your keys even your earbuds let's get on to the construction of the, the rest of it take one of your zips we want it opening from left to right so from this end here we're going to run some tape you don't have to use tape if you don't want to you can use pins or clips but I like the tape because it sits in place so with the opening from left to right I'm going to flip that around and line that up evenly so that we've got the same amount of tab at each end I've allowed a lot extra for the tabs they can be trimmed back later it just makes it a lot easier to line everything up and sew everything together if you allow a bit extra grab another piece of tape and place that over the top of the zip take your lining fabric place that over the top even it out so that it sits flush with the side of your pouch and even at the top edge so this end is ready to go to the machine and be sewn in place before we do that we'll go to this end we're going to do the same thing with the zip we want to make sure that the zip opens from left to right put some tape down center that zip over your fabric and another bit of tape then take the next piece of lining and we'll do the same thing again line up the side edges and the top and this is now ready to go to the machine and be sewn in place when you're sewing this end make sure that this piece of fabric is out of the way we don't want to accidentally sew that in to the other end and then when you go back and sew this end same thing make sure this piece of fabric is out of the way I've put my zipper foot on so that I can actually get closer to the teeth and when you get to the slider just move that out of the way I'm going to top stitch now and I'm only going to top stitch between the tab sections here I don't want to stitch beyond that so just from here to here we're going to do a small a little bit of a top stitch have the lining fabric and the main fabric away from the zip and on the other side we'll do the same thing move the lining out of the way here 
Okay, what we have here is a zip at each end of the main piece of fabric and a lining sticking out from both of those sides and a little pocket on the inside there. We need to put the other end of the zip on. So grab your other main bag fabric. I've put some tape on already. Peel that off and it doesn't matter which end of the zip you use now. Place that directly over the top and line up your side seams and the top edge. And once that's in place, I've run another piece of tape on top of the zip there. Peel that off. Take your other lining piece and place that over the top as well and line that up along the side and the top edge. So we now have this section of the bag enclosed and we'll take that to the machine and stitch that. Before we do that, we'll process this end as well. Bring the top of the zip up to the end of the bag. I've popped another bit of tape on there and we'll take the last piece of lining, place that over the top and that's secure as well now. So now we can take this back to the machine. We're going to sew this section of the bag together and then we're going to sew this section of the zip as well. We'll have a little tube in the middle there. Okay, here's how it looks at the moment. We've got a little tube just here. We've got a couple of lining bits on one side and on the other side as well. Now we've top stitched one side. We need to do the other. It's a little bit awkward now because we've got such a small tube. Open out the zip all the way and just try and manipulate the fabric. Fortunately, this is only a narrow tube that we're working with, so we don't have to go too far. Bring your fabric under the machine. And once again, we're only going to work from the um, from tab to tab. And it actually doesn't matter if your zip is open or closed. I'm going to close it just to make it easier to keep it lined up. And top stitch. Take that off the machine and then just turn it around and start from the other side again. I'll flip it around. Make sure your lining pieces are separated as well. We don't want to accidentally stitch over them. I'll close that zip again. Okay, here's what we have so far. We've got a little pocket on the back. We've got the main bag fabric in a tube here. And then we've got our lining pieces open at the opposite ends. You can trim off any excess here now. Now I'm notorious for leaving my zips closed. So I can hear you in the background telling me to remember to open my zips. So open these zips up almost all of the way or at least half the way. And although we don't need to, I'm going to open both of them out because I don't remember which way I'm going to be turning this through. So it's better to be safe than sorry. So open your zip out at least halfway just so that it's out of the way of any stitching area. Turn this inside out. This is the fun part. This is when it all comes together. Line up the edges on the side there. Repeat for the other side. I like to do the main body of the bag first because then I know I've got everything lined up nicely and the lining's always hidden away so it's much more forgiving if it doesn't quite line up. Now that we've got the main bag lined up, take your lining pieces and we're going to line up all the edges. Now we have this clip together all the way around the entire pouch. At this end here you'll notice I've only got two clips and at this end I've got four clips. That's just to remind me that I can close up this entire side but this side I need to leave open. So when I start sewing I'm going to start from here, do a back stitch, come to the edge there, come all the way up, all the way around, Keep on going all the way around back to this clip here and then I'll do a back stitch. This section here is going to be left open. Now before you do anything, double check that you have actually opened both of your zips because you do need to come through and pull this all the way through to the other end. The other thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm, I'm just got a quarter of an inch seam allowance along the long edges 
at the short edge, I'm going to do a half inch seam allowance. And the reason for that is that I want my pocket for the glasses to be a little bit shorter on the inside and it just helps prevent them from bunching up at the ends where the zip is. So half an inch seam allowance at both ends. On the side, just a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Where the bulk is in the fabric at the joins here, I'll actually go over those a couple of times. So half an inch seam allowance at the short edge, back stitch at the beginning. And then I'll just come around and do a quarter of an inch all the way up the long end edge. And as you come around to the other end, remember that's a half an inch. And when you get to the end, leave an opening of a couple of inches, so about two to three inches and back stitch. Okay, we've sewn that all the way around and all we need to do now is trim the corners. This is the end that's got the opening. And if you've got any edges that you want to tidy up, you can do that too. Find your opening and we're going to go all the way through to the other end. And here's when you find out whether or not you've remembered to open your zip, which for a change I have done. And pinch the fabric between your thumb and finger there and pull all of that through. You'll be going through two layers of zips as well. So just do that carefully. It does pull through fairly easily though. Okay, once you've done that, just neaten up the main part of your bag. Make sure everything's sticking out the way it should be. And once you're happy with all of that, we can take the opening to the back to the machine and we can sew that closed. So I'm not going to take you with me. All I've got here is that half inch seam allowance folded over underneath there, pinch that together. And I'm just going to do a very narrow top stitch along the edge. Now all we need to do is tuck in the linings. So push that through. There we have it, a double sided zippered glasses case. So we've got an opening on this side, opening on this side, We've got another little opening just here to pop any coins. So what do you think? Aside from the choice of fabric, it's actually turned out really well. So I've got that little zipper at the front there, plenty of room there to put some notes and some coins. I've got some coins in there. And as I've shown you, on each side, you've got a little zippered pocket that will hold your glasses. So you can have your daytime glasses and your nighttime glasses on either side of your pouch and fold it away nicely like this. If you wanted to, you could actually make this a little bit wider. Then you could have room on one side to put your mobile phone and the other side for your glasses. It would also allow room for you to make a little bit of a longer pocket as well. Uh, and then you can go one step further, put some hooks on there and have it as a little crossbody bag. I might actually do that in another video. Let me know if that's what you'd like me to do. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.